morning guys, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. We've got something new for the farm today. Let me tell you what, I got a text message yesterday from my neighbor saying that my goats were on his front porch. Well, that's like half a mile back here. So the goats are roaming and goats are roamers. That's okay, they are roamers, but they're not gonna roam anymore because we got this fancy new fence called poultry net okay I'll post a link down below to this stuff we're gonna go ahead and put it up today we'll see what it's all about I've read up on it I've seen it I've seen Joel Salatin use it up on polyface farms if you don't know about polyface google it okay so we're gonna give her a shot basically this poultry net it's called poultry net but it shows right here a goat right on the picture that's the uh, instruction manual there Whoop, right there shows a goat Gotta keep the goats in. So it's called poultry net, but we're gonna use it as goat net. We're gonna get the goats rounded up, corralled up, so that they don't go up on the neighbor's front porch anymore. I felt so bad. She called me and said, hey, your goats are up here eating the flowers and stuff on my porch. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm gonna throw the drone up in the air, and I'm gonna show you how I herd the goats with the drone. It might be a little bit shaky because I basically have to go down and chase the goats with it, but check it out. Let's go up and try out this poultry net and see what all the hype's about. See what it's all cracked up to be. Is it worth it? Is it not? If you thought about getting it, let's check it out. I'll tell you if it's bull crap or not. Woo! Stony Ridge. Farm Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. So guys, the first step in this is we're gonna read through our instructions and it has a very detailed instruction booklet with it, how to install electric netting. So we're gonna read through it. I've already poked through it a little bit. Basically it says to prep the site by mowing the area, uh, unroll it and install the joints in the post and connect it to the power. Should be pretty easy, but look at this mess. The grass is really tall. Well, how are we gonna lay it out if the grass is really tall? I really don't know. So we're going to have to see how long it is first and then kind of go off best judgment to get it installed up here. And this is Poncho. Hey. Poncho is a neighbor here. He comes out and helps me sometimes. So first things first, let's lay it out and see how long it is. So it comes in a really stout bag. Just so you know, this is some really tough stuff. We're going to unravel it, unwrap it, stretch it out, see how far it'll go. We'll get the goats. We'll feed them a little bit, draw them down here, and then we'll have them encapsulated in the new fencing and hopefully they won't run through it we'll see all right so we're gonna zip it open yep. Yep. guys can't tell you how impressed I bought this Victorinox knife man I, I'm gonna say I bought it in 1999 I've had this knife since 1999 what a great knife I have not had to sharpen this knife since 1999 Awesome knife. I'll post a link down below. Right here, that comes with a paper thing here. Whoop. And there are your little spikes to stick it in the ground with. And then there's a little kit of goodies. That looks like some wire and it tells you everything that's included in this kit in the uh, manual. All right, so we're gonna untie it. It comes tied up in these little ties. It looks like, uh, just pull one string, should come undone. Okay, let's get serious about this. I have, been very curious about this wire this netting I want to show you up close what it's like and how it what it looks like these are the little tabs that hold it together and there's electric fencing wire in there and then there's no electric in here and then there's another row of electric so it's just row after row and it's all woven together and attached with these little plastic tabs let me show you closely see how it's attached with these plastic tabs I had no idea how this was, and I was curious about it. This stuff is pricey, okay? So before you have to swallow the pill to buy it, I think it'd be a good idea to review it. I have seen nothing online about what this stuff is and how it works. Now you've seen it. So with our fence here, we made a gate, and this is the little gate right here. Now this would hold cows or horses or sheep, but they say, Take a goat fence, build a goat fence, and then throw a cup of water. If the water goes through it, the goats can get out. In other words, goats get out of everything. So we're gonna take this fence loose. We've already de-energized it, and we're gonna lay these over to the side. So my thought process is lay this out and put the goats in this little section right here by their little goat shack. That's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna run the fence in a, like a big circle, and we'll drag the water tubs and stuff over in the big circle, and that way they'll have food and water. 
and they'll eat these little sections down and we'll move them from day to day or week to week to a new section of pasture. First thing first guys, we're gonna take our steel trimmer and we're gonna go ahead and trim up around where we think our fence is gonna go. Just FYI, the section of fence that we got is 150 feet. So we're figuring on 75 feet square to make this area. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I think I've, we need an area big enough to put the fence in. We're gonna lay it out and see how she goes. Try it out. I think this requires two people, I'm pretty sure. So guys, our first stake is going in the ground right here. You just press it in with your foot. So guys, the way this has to go is, Ponch will go ahead and drag it backwards, the whole stack. Just gently drag it backwards. You've got to have two people to do this. Take it back, okay. And then basically you take your post and you stretch it out tight. It, this, is a, this is definitely an exercise in patience. It takes a little patience to get this your first time. Don't be frustrated, but I really think this is going to work. It's going to be awesome for the goats. So we've trimmed up around and we just take and we hook our posts in the ground and we push with our feet, just like that. Very simple. It goes in very, very simple. I'm going to show you. I'll just let you watch what we're doing here for a minute uh, and kind of talk you through it a little bit. Just drag that way gently. There you go. You got it. Keep on going. Keep on going. Good. Okay. Stop. Guys, we just press it in. Just nice and easy. Okay. Poncho back towards the camera there. Got to get our next post. Get our next post out, get it ready. Pays to have a good partner. Launch is good help, good partner. Go back that away, watch your camera. There we go, okay, good. So one of the biggest concerns with installing this fence is if you have a bunch of grass and limbs and sticks or stuff leaned up against it, weeds or whatever, it's gonna cause problems. So we wanna get all the grass away from it that we possibly can before we finish. Goes up fairly simple, guys. You really do need two people, though. So me and Mrs. Stony Ridge will have to get this done next time. So what we'll do is we'll take this fencing and we'll section off different paddocks for the goats to eat. And you can see this is broom straw. Not very nutritious, but the goats will chew it down and they'll put that good butt fertilizer down. We love that good butt fertilizer. We'll restore our field a little bit and we'll also plant some grass out here. Some good fescue grass for mowing for hay. Pretty awesome. I was kind of worried when I got to unrolling this thing that I wouldn't be able to have some help. Sure is nice to have good neighbors. Guys, I had to show you something neat. We caught, I <laughs> almost fell down. We caught a little bitty baby mole. Look how cute he is. Little bitty baby mole. Isn't that cute? He was up underneath the board. We're gonna let him go. I've never even seen a mole that close. That was awesome. We got this all set up right here. I'll show you a broad overview here in a second. We're gonna try and draw the goats in. I'm gonna use the usual goat calls that I use and see if it works, but we've been letting the goats just go to pasture here and we haven't been feeding them grain here for a while. Winter time's coming, so we've gotta do that. I got a good bag of wheat right here. I don't have goat food, so we're just gonna to try to draw them in with some wheat and then we'll go get some goat food. Goaty, goaty, come on, Pepper. <laughs> Normally the goats come running when they hear that sound. I might have to go up and draw them in. I might have to just walk with them. They're going to walk right over top of the fence and then we'll lift the fence up, energize it, and be good. So here's what we're feeding. Let's go up here and take this delicious food. Mm. <laughs> Not delicious. <laughs> take it up here and see if we can get the goats to come. Let's walk up through the tall grass. Woo, goat! Here the goaty! Here the goaty, goaty! Hey, goaties. Hey, Billy. Hey. They don't like this wheat at all, so we're gonna have to rethink this. Gonna have to go get some sweet feed from the store, something with some molasses in it, draw them in there. All right, success. We got the fence up, we got the goats in, all but about four little rogue goats over there that don't wanna cooperate. We shall see, so far so good. They haven't tried to jump it, they haven't tried to run through it. I think it provides a little more of a barrier than this plain old uh, electric fence type 
fencing material that we had before. So far, so good, A+. Plus. The product surprised me a little bit, and I'll walk you around and show you and tell you a little bit about what surprised me, okay? So if you look here, it sets up nice. It does have a little bit of a sag in there, and you're supposed to support the corners a little bit tighter than we have them supported. So we'll go in and we'll put T-post in the corner, and we'll kind of wire it up and, and save that corner from sagging a little bit. You need two people at least to put this together, and you need to stretch it out and do some measuring and thinking before you do it. So we stretched it out, we did a little trial and error. Basically we, we took and we mowed in this area where we thought the fence should have gone, and then we made our adjustments you know, as per what we needed to do. It took us somewhere in a neighborhood of an hour to put this thing up for the first time. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and bush hog the rest of this field so it's a lot easier for me to fool with. The goats seem to be liking it. Everything seems to be working good. Guys, I've had nothing but trouble with the goats getting out. And when your neighbor gives you a call and says, hey, your goats were in my flower bed, up on my porch, pooping, you gotta take care of it. So I give this fence an A+. I'll post a link down below. We, we got a pretty big size fence. Uh, the price of it is about $199. Should last four or five years. You know, if, if you really look at it, it's for poultry, it has the smaller little squares here. They make one, uh, after I looked through the catalog I learned this, but they make one that's specifically for goats or for sheep. So maybe we'll use that next time. Basically what my plan is, is to fence off little sections and move the goats around in this field fertilizing it, bringing back a little biomass to the soil and taking care of my land. We've got little mobile goat shacks here and basically we just use storage totes. You know, kind of redneck, kind of hillbilly, but whatever, it's goat. These aren't show dogs, these are goats, okay? These, these, these goats don't have paper. Goats don't have papers! So guys, I give the fencing an A+. I really like it. It works good, it went up good, it went up very easy. You wanna make sure you're putting this fence on soft ground, okay? If the ground was really, really hard or really, really rocky, which we ran into some rocks, it makes it difficult to mash those posts down. So we're gonna support our corners like we should and watch the goats for a little bit. Guys, thanks for coming. I was really curious about this electric poultry netting and I thought I'd share this with you. So what better way to learn about it than from another guy buying it and telling you all about it. It's like goat psychology. I don't care if you go in, goat. You cannot go in. It don't matter. Guys, after like 20 minutes of deliberation with these wonderful goats, these wonderful joyous goats, they all went in. <laughs> ah, I hope they hold up. I hope this all holds up. I'm sure they're gonna test the fence, that's okay, but if one of them's out, they wanna move through the fence. If all of them are in there, they'll feel safe, they have that herd mentality, and they'll all stay together. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Josh Stoney, Ridge Farmer. A Little bit of farm comedy here. Just gotta have patience when you're dealing with goats. Talk nice to them, talk sweet. Let them know you got goat love. I got goat love. What's up? Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. So with our fence up here, we made a gate. We made sure that we made a gate and we're gonna... And the gate's not where I thought it was. That's what a goat looks like in the fence. Oh, all right, so this is what they look like when they jump into the fence. They're just jumping into it now. Super, super cool. They jump into it and they get all hung up. They suck. They're getting on my nerves. Ghosts don't have papers. <laughs>